Everybody, it's Tyler here at Chessie Champs, checking out team number 694, Cy Pulse. Two regional wins this year, by the way. Congratulations on a great season. And you got to check out Cy Pulse. Uh, I think one of the most unique robots this year, especially with their arm uh, as they come through. It's been looking phenomenal on the field. We'll be talking about, of course, their full systems area intake going into that arm, talking about some uh, software programming, and a really cool way that they're breaking themselves uh, onto the charge station as well. Let's learn more about them coming up on Behind the Bumpers. This video on fun was brought to you by viewers like you and also by the following. The new Robit system by Anymark can reduce complexity and enable robust builds. Parts align to a common one half inch grid, simplifying construction and allowing alignment of both structure and motion components. Robits enables teams to always have the parts they need to complete a build. Head on over to Anymark.com slash Robits to learn more in order today. Fun is continuing to grow and looking for new ad partners for the 2024 season. If your organization has a positive message to spread to our over 250,000 unique viewers, go to firstupdatesnow.com slash contact to get more information. Aiden, let's start talking about uh, some of the scoring uh, areas of your robot. Uh, I really love this arm overall uh, and the intake that goes with us. Talk to me more about it. Uh, how did you come up with this type of design as well? I'd love to hear more about yeah, it. Yeah, so when we started making our intake, we really wanted to pick up cones off the floor from the um, the first substation, and we thought that most of the cones would be tipped over since we didn't have the real substation built until around like week four. So we decided, we thought that picking up cones by the flange would be the easiest way to always get the cone no matter what air orientation it is in. So these two rollers pick up the flange, and we have this area in the back where we pick up cone, um, sorry, cubes. And throughout the season, we've iterated a bunch of times on, in, on the intake. Like we've staggered these bearings and the rollers so that we can pick up cones a little bit better because in our first event, they're like in line. Um, yeah, but and over time, we've made a bunch of iterations and made it as good as it is right now. Looking at, uh, you know, from your iteration, if I remember correctly, uh, I saw you guys at the Midwest Regional way back, and you had more like a cloth or a tarp, I think, or something like that on your intake. Is that right? Actually, it was just this cover that you can see right here. Okay. But we had, a, we just put a lot of tape on it, and we made it look like a racing stripe because our, um, because Mr. Blade really thought that it would be cool. All right, fair, yeah. fair enough on that. So more more aesthetic than anything else. Yeah. Got you out there. And how about this arm? Like, this whole structure is just really impressive. So uh, when he came up with this, especially, I, I know we'll be talking about some of the motion with it a little bit later too but this whole just packaging you have is really cool tell me more about yeah, it yeah so when we made the arm we really wanted our center of gravity to be, to be low and in the center of the robot so if you look at the motors for the arm they're all the way in the on the like in the middle of the robot and near the bottom the only thing that's really on the arm are these motors that control the intake rollers um yeah so this motor controls the wrist so if you turn the wrist you'll see that the pulley here turns and if you move the arm and these two at the bottom move the arm um to move the wrist, we just have these like um, dead axle bearings, I'm sorry, dead axle pulleys that are connected to chain. We actually call this a pulley sandwich and it runs from here all the way down to the wrist. Very impressive overall. Uh, and I know we're gonna be showing some demonstrations of this yeah. in a little bit as well too. I think before that though, actually, if you don't mind, I gotta talk about this uh, braking mechanism that uh, your team is doing as well. Uh, so Ellen, talk to me more about uh, how'd you come up with it? And uh, you know, I, I think back in the day of like, we used to have stingers a long time ago, we used to call them for uh, like balancing on ramps and stuff. Uh, so I'd love to just hear more about this and uh, get a little close up of, of the thing, the one you have as well. Right, so these are called our grippers here and uh, they're kind of the linchpin of our end game. So, Basically, what they are are pistons with uh, uh, very frictious material uh, attached, uh, attached to the ends. Uh, here's a, a version that is not yet connected to the robot. As you can see, it's just a pneumatic piston, and we have sushi rollers attached to the end of the piston. Uh, the sushi rollers don't roll. Uh, they're just there to keep a point of contact with the ground, right? And uh, when, once we're onto the charge station, they fire into the charge station so that uh, even while the charge station is tipped, uh, the robot won't be rolling at all. And uh, throughout uh, our season during the, uh, over the competitions, uh, we found that uh, this happened to be incredibly useful uh, for getting onto the charge station and uh, uh, not affecting our partners trying to balance because we wouldn't move and we wouldn't be affected by them either. How did you, you know, come up with using the sushi roller for that for that grip as well too. Obviously we see sushi roller in many applications, but why was that the best material for you to go with uh, for this? So uh, what we just, uh, how we found that so, uh, the sushi rollers were best on the Lexan that uh, usually is on top of the charge station, uh, we took a lot of different uh, 
rubber materials, wheels, things like that, and we just uh, try to put them onto a sheet of Lexan and uh, try to you know get them to move. And uh, we eventually, after a, a lot of testing, we just found that uh, the sushi rolls worked the best and uh, wouldn't move as much. And they also happened uh, to be uh, easy to implement. Uh, because they were readily available uh, by vendors. Yeah, I love the thought process that's gone into it, and obviously package-wise, your robot really well, too. Uh, we got to show some motion on this robot, I think. Uh, so, Ben, talk to me more about some of the programming that's gone into it. Uh, I know there's a bunch of cool stuff you've done, uh, so walk me through what you're really proud of, and, of course, we'll show off uh, some demos of this robot going. Yeah, sure. So, um, this season, for like a lot of teams, was our first season using uh, April tags. And we have a setup right now with one limelight facing backwards. It's at the top of the robot. And a mount here and a mount here. Um, originally, you can see we had a mount for both sides at the top uh, for our limelights. And we found this off season that mounting a little lower and facing outwards just gave us a better field of view, especially when getting closer to the pegs. Um, and so just through the season, we had to like iterate a lot on tuning our vision systems, making sure it's more accurate, and also getting uh, the alignment down. Right now we have all cube alignment, low alignment, and we align for some of our cone motions. Um, and I can show really quick, if we come over to the laptop, um, I can just show you how here on the right on our dashboard, this is our glass dashboard, and we can see right now no April tags picked up and I can like hold up an April tag. It should be picking up in the dashboard. It's kind of hard to hold up, but you can see on the right there's values changing. Should be. Can you see it? I'm yeah, it's I can't see the screen, so I'm not really sure. But we um yeah, we just worked a lot on the season on that. And then additionally we had to um, work a lot on structuring the code for our arm. This was the first year of um, controlling an arm, and it was also, we had some struggles at the start of the season. So one of the um, big things that we ended up settling on, we have a structure where we have a trajectory of our arm, so we go through different states for each motion. Um, we can show that real quick, I think. Yeah, so as you can see in that motion, we have um, multiple different positions that the arm goes to uh, in uh, sequence. Um, and that's the main like backbone of our code. The other big thing that our code uh, is built around is managing the state of our robot. So. Because our robot scores on both sides, we really have to keep track of which side are we going to score on, which side are we facing, uh, which piece do we want to score, which level do we want to score at, and that's all controlled on our by our operator and. Um, yeah, I think. So you're actually good. running with the uh, scoring system. You're running a field centric on that as well, too, right? Yeah. So when you're looking from a vision side, uh, it's just always knowing which way you, you need the score each time. Is that correct? The way that we did it, we found to make it easier for the driver is just that we look at whichever way the driver's, the robot is facing, and when the operator chooses to uh, bring up the arm, that's just the way that we'll score. Um, yeah, that's what we found to be the easiest. All right. Well, 694 Sight Paul, thank you so much for taking time. Tell us about this monstrous robot that you have here uh, for the Charge Up game. Good luck, of course, here at Chessy Champs. We well, can't wait to see what you bring for Crescendo as well. Thanks a lot, and uh, good luck the rest of the way. Thank you. This video on fun was brought to you by viewers like you and also by the following. The new Robit system by Anymark can reduce complexity and enable robust builds. Parts align to a common one half inch grid, simplifying construction and allowing alignment of both structure and motion components. Robits enables teams to always have the parts they need to complete a build. Head on over to Anymark.com slash Robits to learn more and order today. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and ring the bell to stay up to date on our new videos. Keep the conversation going and provide your input to our content. Most live shows can be found on the First Updates Now YouTube channel, live competitions at twitch.tv slash firstupdatesnow, and join our Discord at discord.gg slash firstupdatesnow. Check our other social offerings on TikTok, Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter.